Joining us now with the latest is the governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie. And governor, let me ask you, what are you seeing this morning? Well, Scott, we, we endured quite a storm here. The hurricane came on land in Little Egg Harbor um, in New Jersey very early this morning. We have over half a million people without power. Uh, we have 15,000 people in shelters right now through 45 shelters across New Jersey and over 250 road closures. But the good news is that it looks as if initially the destruction on our coastline is less than we thought it might be. And I think the loss of life is minimal. Uh, and I think it's because we moved a million people off the Jersey Shore in 24 hours without incident, uh, 24 hours before this hurricane hit. And so uh, with the exception of one report we've gotten of loss of life, which was off the coastline, uh, so far I think we've achieved what I wanted to achieve first and foremost as governor, which was to minimize the loss of life. And right now we know of only one death. So mostly what you're seeing there in New Jersey is flooding. I take it that there's not a great deal of damage to buildings, for example. So far, Scott, we don't see that. I'm going to be taking a tour this afternoon of the entire Jersey coast uh, to take a look at what kind, of, um, what kind of damage we have down there. But I think it will not be as much wind damage as it will be flooding damage. Um, and that can happen. That's happening both on the coastline and as it progresses over the next day or two inland in our rivers, which uh, given all the rain that we've had leading up to the storm, uh, we're going to have a major, if not record, flooding. I wonder how long the power is going to be out. Well, I, the good news is that the storm moved through here rather quickly once it got here. Uh, and so uh, we're going to be able, I think, very soon this afternoon to early this evening, get crews out on the road um, to begin to restore power, work on the downed trees and the downed wires. So, um, you know, I can't predict exactly when everyone will have their power back, uh, but we're going to get working on that this afternoon. We've been in contact with the power companies and they're poised and ready to go. You mentioned that about a million people were moved out of the low lying areas there along the coastline. When will those folks be allowed to come home? I'm going to be making those decisions, Scott, in the next uh, hour or two, um, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get them home tonight. This storm appears to be at this moment, Governor, much more of a mess than a disaster. I wonder, in retrospect, if you have any regrets moving that many people out. No regrets at all, Scott, because uh, the best way to ensure there was no loss of human life on the New Jersey coast was there to be no human life on the New Jersey coast. And uh, I have no regrets about it at all. My first and most important job at, as governor is to protect the lives of the citizens of this state. And so uh, I have no regrets at all moving those folks. Uh, and we're going to make sure that we get them back as quickly as possible, but we're going to get them back alive. And that's the most important thing. And the very next steps that you have to take as governor to recover from this? Well, we have to make a, an assessment of the damage. We have to continue to assess our swelling rivers. Uh, we may need to evacuate people from our low-lying inland areas that are around rivers, the Passaic River, the Raritan River, the Ramapo River. We may need to evacuate people and deal with those hardships as well in the next 48 hours. Um, but here's the message for New Jersey. I think we have come through this well. Everyone, all of us worked together. Those evacuees left voluntarily. They listened to the call. And you know, New Jersey's, New Jerseyans are really tough, gritty people, Scott. And, and I think they've come through this well. And in the days after this, we're gonna help each other to make sure we rebuild our state to where it was. Chris Christie, governor of New Jersey, thank you for your time, sir. Scott, thank you very much.